Hi everybody! Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. So this is where I sit in my infrared sauna, sweat it out, detox, and talk about things that I need to hear to help me keep my vibration high and stay really positive so I can manifest everything my heart's desire. Um, please subscribe, really important, so I can keep this going in the new year. I'm going to add a whole bunch of content, so it really makes a difference if people subscribe. I really so appreciate it. Um, so in the last vlog, I said that I was going to talk about the 12 spiritual laws of manifestation and how energy works so that we can really get to the uh, meat of how to manifest into this third dimension because it's so important to be able to do that. And most people just, you know, engage in a couple of the spiritual laws and they just forget about the rest. And it's just so helpful when you know all of them because it really makes manifestation pow like that. So first in this series, I just want to go over the whole list so that everybody understands what those spiritual laws are so that they can start to think about that and basically see what comes up for them, you know, for you and your own meditations about what, what each of these laws means to you. Okay. Before we go in, in the following vlogs, I'll go in depth to each one. Okay. The first one really important is the law of one oneness. This basically says that we're all part of a greater whole. Okay. That's a big deal. And number two, the law of vibration. That's the law that says that everything is energy. You know, everything is energy. Number three, the law of action. This is one that most people forget because they just don't think about it, but it says that you have to actually take physical action in order to manifest. You have your energetic part of the equation and then you have your physical part because we do live in the third dimension and that's huge. Okay. Number four is the law of correspondence. Is This says basically that your life is a reflection of what you've manifested thus far. So you can see the correspondence between what you're manifesting and in it appearing in your life. Okay. Number five, the law of cause and effect. This is simple for every action. There's a reaction. So that's huge to keep in mind. Number six is the law of compensation. And that basically says that what you put out comes back to you. And there are some religions that even think what you put out comes back to you times three. Number seven, the law of attraction. This is the one that most people consider, and this is really, you know, where most people think that they can manifest with, but we've got to do all the other ones too. But is like attracts like. So what, what vibration we at, are at and how we behave is what we attract. And what, what we think about is what we attract. Number eight, the law of transmutation. This says that energy can be transmuted or changed. It cannot be, it, it, it always exists, but it can be changed. And so we have the ability to change things for the better at any moment. Number nine, the law of relativity. This is all about perspective. It's, everything is relative depending on our perspective and how we see it. So we can change our picture and our vibration, but by changing the way we look at things. Number 10, the law of polarity. This is that everything in the universe has an opposite. So that's something can to consider when you're thinking about what you, what you do want to manifest and to not accidentally manifest the opposite of that. Number 11, the law of rhythms. Everything in the universe follows certain rhythms and patterns. And if you can go along with the flow of the energy, you're way better off in, in manifesting. And finally, number 12 is the law of gender. That says that everything in the universe has a yin and a yang energy. And so when you are able to master both the masculine and feminine energies, that's when you will be the master creator. Okay, so those are the 12 spiritual laws. I'm going to go in depth into each one in subsequent vlogs. And so please tune in. It's going to be really worth your while to just take this information and to start manifesting. This is a powerful number three year, really positive, really, really uplifting and the year of manifestation and creation. So 
this whole series of vlogs is going to help us all manifest all of our heart's desires, all of our amazing dreams. And so blessings to everybody. I hope you all tune in for the next at least 12 or 13 um, vlogs because we're going to make this happen. All right. Blessings, everybody. And bye.